The Brazilian city of Curitiba has been given the green light to be a host city in the upcoming Football World Cup. The sports governing body FIFA says recent progress indicates the stadium being built will make it in time. As Gabriel Alessandro reports from Curitiba, there isn't a day to spare for construction workers. Accordion music emanating through the streets of downtown. But behind the relaxing sounds, the city of Curitiba has been stressed out in recent days, bracing for a decision on their World Cup fate. FIFA will keep the city in the World Cup, despite previously threatening to yank it as a host city unless it could finish the stadium in time. A potential public relations disaster for Brazil was avoided, but the mood of the people in Curitiba after FIFA's decision was decidedly mixed. We are happy. Many people have been preparing for the World Cup, so this is good news. It's good for the investments that have been done by the business and hotel sector. But in general, I'm not very happy with the decision because I think we don't have the capacity or priorities. We're putting so much money into the World Cup instead of investing in hospitals, education and security. While Curitiba is a city world-renowned for sustainable development and has one of the highest standards of living in the country, it was the readiness of the football facility that is the problem. This stadium has had all sorts of difficulties. There's been problems with the builders and the various contractors. Last year, a local judge actually halted work here for almost a month while they investigated worker safety issues. And up until very recently, the club that's going to own and manage the stadium didn't know where they were going to come up with the money to actually finish the construction. But now FIFA has given the stadium and the city of Curitiba a second chance. But as you can see, there's still a lot of work to be done. The stadium is now targeted to be completed in May, but that's just a few weeks before Iran and Nigeria meet in the opening World Cup match in the city. Gabriel Elizondo, Al Jazeera, Curitiba, Brazil.